What's up guys, just the other day Apple at their event released OS X Mavericks, the new operating system for Mac, and they released it for a big whopping price of free. Yes, if you have Snow Leopard, you can update to Mavericks right now for free. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the new features in Mavericks. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. First up is the new iBooks app, which is now on your Mac. Uh, so you can go ahead and download all of your books here from the iBooks store, uh, which you can click right there to browse. Uh, and then you can just go ahead and pick your books out that you want here. Uh, you can browse through top charts, New York Times, categories, top authors. Then you can go to your library, you can tap on these, and you can actually read them uh, right here on your computer. Not the best experience in my opinion because I don't want to read a book on my computer, but if you want to, you can. And then also, of course, once you're reading a book, uh, if you want to go to your phone and uh, pick up from where you left off on your Mac, you can also do that and vice versa, so it syncs up to the iCloud. Also in Mavericks Now is the new Maps application, which works just like the Maps on your iOS device, so you can go and open that up. You can search for location, so I'm just going to type in New York. I'm going to go ahead and search that up. And then you can also do satellite and you can do flyover just like you could on iOS for like some of the major cities. So I can go ahead and tap uh, to zoom in here or you can just tap a little plus button here. And you can actually, once it loads up, you can see a flyover uh, of the city, which is really cool. My favorite part about the new Maps app is you can also hit this directions button right here. Uh, you can type in your current location or your start point, And then your end location, hit directions, and it's going to give you directions. But what's cool about it is you can tap this button right here and you can send it to your iPhone. So it sends right there. You'll get a notification pop up on your phone any second now. There it goes. And then you can go to your car, get in it, and you've got your directions already pulled up automatically just like that. They also updated the calendar app, so it's got a new design now. You can browse stuff by day, week, month, or year. And there's also continuous scrolling now, so if I want to scroll down, I can actually scroll down through the months. I don't have to switch between months. So I want to add a quick event or appointment to my calendar. I just hit the little plus button right here, and I can go ahead and type it in. As you see, it's already filled in movie at Friday, 7 p.m. I'm just going to say, let's go to Washington, D.C. at 10 a.m. on Friday. Sounds good to me. All right, so as you see right here, uh, there's the little event that I made. It already knows what time it was, even though I didn't like clearly specify exactly how I wanted it. And it also added a location uh, right there. So if you pick a big point of interest that it can figure out easily, uh, it will actually add the location in right there. Uh, you can also now add alerts. Uh, so if I want to have an alert. I can set it for the time of the event, blah, blah, blah. And I can also pick the travel time. So I'm in New Jersey right now. It takes about three, four hours to get to Washington. So if I want to say... Uh, it's going to take four hours to get to Washington. I can do that, and uh, it'll actually alert me when I need to leave for Washington. Safari also got an update now, so in the top left corner, you can click this little book right here, and you've got this new little sidebar uh, with bookmarks where you can browse through any of these and click on those. Uh, you've got your reading list, so you can view your reading list, and then you've also got shared links, which is really cool. It connects to Twitter uh, and I think LinkedIn, maybe some other ones, and you can actually browse through all of the links that have been shared on your social networks. Uh, so you can go ahead and click those right there. You don't have to browse through your Twitter feed to see them. You can see them all right there in your Safari browser now. Finder also got a couple of updates, and probably one of the smallest new features in Mavericks, but my favorite is the ability to have tabs in your Finder window. Uh, so you actually do have to turn this on. Uh, you go into Show Tab Bar, or you can just go up here to the top and add a new tab. Uh, but what I do is go ahead and have it showing all the time. You press the little plus button right here. Uh, so if I wanted to be on my desktop here, and then I wanted to be uh, on videos here, I can do so. So I can have multiple tabs. If I wanted to drag this here, I can do so. Uh, so that way you don't have to have multiple Finder windows open at once, taking up more screen real estate. You can have it all right there in one little window. They also added a new feature to Finder called Tags, which is going to help you better organize and find your files. Uh, so let's say I wanted to add this one to a tag right here. I just right click on it, select the tag, and then you see it's got a little red dot beside it. So that'll help you better find them. Uh, you can tap right there and you can see all of your uh, organized under red files. Also, if you want to name these, uh, so it's not just red, you can hit right there, rename red, and let's say that's videos. So I can actually organize all my videos under the little red tag. So it's a better way to organize and find your files. Uh, pretty cool, but if you got a lot of files, that's going to take some time uh, to do everything. There's also a new feature called iCloud Keychain, which will actually save your passwords to Safari, and then it'll sync up across your devices. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and type in here. I have to hit allow, of course. I'm just going to hit always allow. Uh, and I want to start typing in a password. Uh, it should automatically load up and it says here do you want to fill this password from your calendar.google uh, which you can go ahead and select that hit always allow and then it's automatically going to fill your password you can save passwords when you're typing in websites and then like I said it'll sync up to all of your iOS devices 
Uh, it's really cool so that way you don't have to type in passwords anymore. Notifications are also better in Mavericks now. Uh, for some reason though, I could not get any of my notifications to work uh, as soon as I started filming this video. Uh, so the best I can do is show you on Apple's site. Uh, they've got interactive notifications now so if you get an email or a text message or a FaceTime call, when the notification pops up, you can actually reply or answer the call or whatever uh, right in the notification. For example, here's a text message they have. Uh, so they got a text message, you hit the reply button, and you can type the reply back right there and then hit send. Uh, really cool, uh, and this is definitely a useful feature. I'm using this all the time. Plus, you can get updates from websites now. Uh, so you can set uh, your favorite websites or news alerts or whatever uh, to come right to your notification center so you don't miss any of those. Also, now when you come back to your computer, if you've been away, all of your notifications that you got while you were gone will actually show right up there on the lock screen uh, before you actually get onto your computer and log in, uh, which is pretty cool. One thing I can show you that's new about notifications uh, is you can actually go over here to your notification sidebar, tap messages, and you can send a message uh, right there. You don't have to go into the messages app or wait for a notification to pop up to reply back. You can actually pick who you're sending it to, type in the message right there, and hit send, and uh, you can actually send a message. And finally, the last new feature in Mavericks I'm going to show you is better support for multiple displays. And this is really, really cool, uh, because now if you have an HDTV, and you have an Apple TV, and you have a Mac, and you're updated in Mavericks, you are set up now to do actually a multiple display using AirPlay. The way this works is you go to AirPlay on your Mac, go ahead and select your Apple TV, and then what you want to do is you just uh, select Extended Desktop, and it's going to automatically give you another desktop on your TV using your Apple TV over AirPlay. Once it's set up, it's pretty much like you have two different desktops sitting right in front of you, but you can use the screens all at once, but it's only coming from one Mac. So I can actually, on this Chrome window right here, I can just drag it right over to my HDTV, and I can see that right there. So that's really cool. You don't need any extra cables or hookups or anything like that. All you need is an HDTV, an Apple TV, and you can AirPlay and make a dual monitor right there uh, using your TV. So there you go. There's a look at some of the new features in Mavericks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Now before you head out of here, let's take one last look at our sponsor. Carbonite Online Backup is automatic cloud backup for the home office or small business. Just set it up once and Carbonite will automatically back up your computer files so that you can stay focused on running your business and there's no hardware required. With Carbonite, getting your lost files back is easy. Even your employees can access their backed up files on their iPad or smartphone with the free Carbonite app. Carbonite is the better backup plan for your home office or small business. Start your free trial at Carbonite.com and use the offer code TI today and you'll get two bonus months if you decide to buy. Again, Carbonite.com and the offer code for two bonus months is TIE. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, click the like button down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel right there for more videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.